Hi, this is David with eMini Trading Strategies.com. We are long the Dow eMinis. We have a signal down here. We're filled at 342. Trading six contracts, looking to make about 25 ticks. I have a 25 tick stop loss and a 25 tick profit objective, one to one. My goal, and you may know this if you've been watching any of my videos, is to get my stop loss moved up as soon as possible. So, one and if we move up about 10 ticks to, to the good, I'll start dragging my stop loss up, and I'll drag my stop loss right around this little dot here, right there around 333. Typically, right around the signal bar, just below the signal bar is where I'll drag my stop loss up. And after about 15 ticks, I'll drag it up closer to entry. And if it gets 20 ticks, I'll start dragging it into the money, and hopefully, I'll hit 25 ticks or more. Okay. The Dow is a lot different than my S&P strategy. The S&P strategy is very quick. We only go for four ticks. We move our stop loss to break even after four ticks. A lot different trading my Dow strategy. The Dow moves a lot slower. You don't get nearly as many trades per day. But it also trends a lot more too, where you can see 20, 30, 40, 50 ticks a day. In fact, the short trade that was behind this long trade moved down over 150, uh, well, about 100 and, 115 ticks. So you could scale as well. Some guys, some students, you could scale out maybe 15 ticks, 25 ticks, 30 ticks, whatever you want to do on a high volume day. If you want to go for more, you can let your profits run, drag a trailing stop, a lot of different ways you can do it. Okay. I'm also using Pro Indicator version 2. Um, I have Pro Indicator version 2 set up to have a couple parameters for my Dow system. I can punch my profit targets in there. So it plots it up on a screen. Nice little feature to have. I also have my entry line shown. So I know if I get a long signal, I want my fill below the line. If I get a short signal, I want my fill above the line. And I've got a rule on to what, what I would do if I get a short signal. If I get a short signal right now, that wouldn't necessarily mean I would take the short trade if I'm in this long trade. There's conditions that I would reverse. There's conditions I would simply flatten out. And, of course, I teach all that. So the 25 tick stop loss obviously could happen. Doesn't happen a lot, but you could take a 25 tick stop loss, which is a pretty big stop loss. 25, 5 bucks a tick, 125 hours per contract of a loss. But, again, normally, most of the times, a good portion of my trades will move at least 10 ticks in my favor and allows me to drag my stop loss up. So if I do take a loss, it's typically a small one, and I can recover it on the next trade. So because the Dow trends a lot slower and doesn't move as fast, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. i got to keep the videos about 8 to 10 minutes. So I'll pause the video, and hopefully she'll move up 10 plus ticks, and we'll start dragging our stop loss up. So we'll be back. All right, we're back. The market has moved 10 ticks in my favor. So I'm going to start bringing my stop loss up. I'm going to go right around here towards the signal bar. So now my stop on this is um, just 9 ticks. So and as it moves up, it moves up towards 15, 16 ticks. You know, I've always got the option of closing out the trade. You know, I'm an income trader, and 10 ticks on the Dow is equivalent to one point on the S&P. That's 50 bucks per contract. Trading six contracts would be a nice $300 profit. Not a bad daily income, but because the Dow tends to move more, I'm going to go for a little more profit out of it and just keep running up my stop a little bit and try to jump off 20, 25 ticks. I've got it set for 25 ticks right now. If we get some strength in the market, I could even, I could even take it out higher. But just for illustrative purposes, I'm just going to go for 25 ticks. And as it moves up, I'll drag my stop loss up. And if it comes down and stops us out now, we'll take a small loss. And if it moves up more, we'll take it up into the profit. But we'll either hit our 25 tick profit or come down and get it stopped out for a small profit. So that's how I trade the Dow. Okay. Again, income, you know, you could jump off right now with a very nice income. Or you could stretch it out. You could scale out too. You know, Ninja will have some great scaling features. You can let a position of your uh, contracts off, let some other ones run. So, in any event, it, let's see if it moves up 15 ticks. If it does, I'm going to take my stop loss to entry. We need to see one more tick up, and then we'll probably pause the video here. There it goes, 15 ticks. So we had um, 
seven, you know, we got 18, 20 ticks. I'm going to take it up into profit now. So I want to give it room to breathe. If I take it up too tight, then I'm going to end up getting stopped out. I mean, we've got 18 ticks, really nice, beautiful trade. 19 ticks, 20 ticks, that's 100 bucks a contract. So could take it off right there. We're going to shoot for a little bit more. And if it goes up a little more, we'll keep dragging our stop loss up. And again, an option I have is if I feel it's going to go more, if I want to go for more, I can either scale out or I could take this up more, even higher, and just keep running my stop loss up, almost like a trailing stop loss. So we're going to leave it right here. If it comes back down, we'll only make a small gain, but a gain indeed. And then we'll see if we can make our full 25 tick objective. So I guess I'll go ahead and pause the video again. The market's moving pretty quick, so hopefully we, we won't be too long, but I need to keep the videos under 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and pause. All right, we're just checking back in. Market's kind of going sideways here a little bit. If it comes down and we jump out at seven, uh, 349, modest seven tick profit, not a big profit, end up being, what, six contracts, about $175, give or take. Uh, if we bounces up, we hit the 25, that'll be about a $700 profit. Probably going to get stopped out, looking like, but we'll have some profit in there. So we'll watch and see what it wants to do here. Looks like we're going to get stopped out here. And again, we, you know, we have 10 ticks in there. We had 20 ticks. You know, really depends how you want to play it. If you're happy with 11, 15, 16, 17 ticks, very nice profit right there, right? We had 20 ticks, 100 bucks a contract. Six contracts for a trade, it had been a $600 gain, very nice, right? I was going for more, trying to get the extra, the full 25, drag my stop loss up, only made seven ticks. Well, seven ticks, five bucks a contract, that's 35 bucks per contract times six. So I made $175 off the trade, whole trade lasted 15 minutes. So had a lot more on the table, left some money on the table, but I'm okay with that because... A lot of times it'll bounce all the way up and I'll make the full 25 or even more. So let's wrap it up right there and thanks for watching.